This video on tips and tricks with Claris FileMaker is about the trim all function. This is a little different than the trim function, which you may have seen in our FileMaker certification course. This is trim all, and this has three parameters, one being the text that we're going to trim, and then we have these other two with the type and then spaces, our options are zero or one for spaces, and then we have zero through three for the trim type. And in general, this has to do with spaces in between the words instead of just at the beginning or the end. So we have some definitions here, and it's looking at Roman characters versus non-Roman spaces. And they have this chart of the options that will tell you what you want to accomplish with, between these two options that may just be easier to demonstrate than read through all of that. So I have a first name and a last name, and I have a lot of spaces here before and after, as well as in between in all of these. And then I have a concatenation on this name full, which is fairly standard. If we look at that calculation, we have just one with the last name comma space, and then the name first. And the other one is name first with a space and name last. So very typical that you might have when you combine them. And then I have a calculation here, which is just trimming all. And I did it a couple of different ways, but I'm using the field values so that we can easily change them and check to see what happens versus just the trim, which has no all after it. So you have the trim all and the trim function there. And now we can make some changes in these to see what will happen. So if we make both of these zero, it doesn't appear that anything happened. So we're just going to change this one and move through. And as soon as we change this to a three, now we have these spaces eliminated in the middle of the words, whereas just the trim part here it got rid of the spaces at the end, but not the middle. So it, this trim all gets rid of all of them. So if we change it to here and go through, now we have this space in between each of these, which this comma is when we put in the actual calculation. So this may not be exactly what you're looking for, but notice there's exactly one space in between the words. So as we go through these, they don't seem to do anything different except for the three gets rid of everything and these other ones appear to be the same. And this is because a lot of these pieces here are going to apply more to non-English language here. So you can see a couple of examples that they give have to do with half spaces and full spaces. So if you're using any of those, then these will have a little more impact. If you are not using any of those, then at least know you have this option between one space or no spaces and toggling this on or off doesn't seem to change how this works and toggling this on and off here did not seem to change either. So you can decide when and where this could best apply, but hopefully that gives you a little bit better insight on the trim all function. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for future tips and tricks on Claris FileMaker or visit Productive Computing University for more advanced FileMaker training. Thanks for watching.